Hey everyone, how you doing? Well, I'm back with another installment on the van build. I got quite a bit done, but I wanted to give you an idea of how dirty this thing was. Here's the rear door panel. You can see the grunge and look inside. Looks freaking horrible. This back plastic is still dirty. Oop, probably too close. And now look inside. I'm just about done. I got one more round of wash to do. You can see how much dirt I've got out of here. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. Anyway, there's the wood for the shelves, front and rear on this tie top. And I got a little more cleaning to do back in here. You can see how dirty this was. So I got to get a toothbrush out and clean back in there. And then I want to talk about insulating. If you know anything about these vans, see these holes? So there's the outside wall. Condensation will form here and drips down and there's drain holes down below. So I'm going to use the panels that came with this and I'm going to insulate on top of this behind these plastic panels and leave that open. So the hope is, is the condensation will hit the metal, the water will hit the metal, the vapor, it'll drop, it'll drop down and spill out like it's supposed to. And I'm going to do it on both sides. The top's already insulated. Because there's very little chance of it getting moisture, uh, I'm using fiberglass insulation. It, I had it in my last van. It was in there for the life of the van. It was an 88 and there was no mold when I had it and sold it last year. So I think I'll do all right. I don't need a ton of insulation, but R13 in these walls ought to do freaking great. I, I probably won't get better than R7 in some spots. Um, ordered a new floor for this. It's a factory plastic floor with a closed cell foam insulation that fits between the grooves and underneath it. And it's a little over a half inch thick, which isn't great R value, but it's good R value. Again, more of the dirt. It's freaking disgusting. Anyway, if you look over here, you can see the air conditioner that used to be on the roof. I am now selling that. I'll rarely use it. It's completely heavy and it interferes with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. So what I've done is I picked up a Max fan. You've all seen them, or most of you have. And it's got a, uh, the top on it pops up and you can have it open in the rain. So I'm going to do that and then maybe create a compartment to install another air conditioner internally if I need it. I'm not sure I need it. I haven't been in that many positions and I don't choose to be. Most of the time that I needed an air conditioner was around getting this van back. You know, picking it up, moving it to storage, and then coming back with it. So I'm expecting to be clear of a lot. Sorry about the sun. I'm expecting to be clear of a lot of the uh, the heat. I know, I'm all over the place. Anyway, just another quick look. Here it is off the side. If you look up top, you can see the Max fan. And there we go. I'll have more to follow in the next couple days. I uh, hope to have the floor by Friday. My kid just showed up. He's going to drop some stuff off. i got to put a little more decor on the roof. Uh, have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.